how are we all doing today? I was about to say on this very, very lovely sunny hot day, but according to friends and Chris's parents, it's not very sunny and hot in England. It's raining, which is not good and not a very good start to the six week holidays. <laughs> we are all up and ready this morning. We have already been down for breakfast. Yes, Isla? Pardon? Evil emoji. Yeah. We've all been up and down for breakfast this morning and now we are just coming back to the apartment to get our towels, snorkels, sun cream and all that fun stuff because we are heading to a beach. <laughs> a beach and it is one of the most beautiful beaches I have ever ever been to. This is one of my favourite beaches in the whole world, however I've not been here since Esme was one, yeah, 12 months old. Isabel shouted one then. She was 12 months old when we last came here. We came just after, I think it was actually the day after her first birthday. So I hope it's still the same. Esme definitely looks different. <laughs> they always make your mouth look so funny. We went and bought some snorkels <laughs> from the shop. Why is my mouth so funny? <laughs> my <laughs> nutter. We went last night and bought some snorkels from the shop. However, we do need to nip back to the shop because we need some snacks and drinks because obviously we're all inclusive here, but when you go to the beach and things, there's no all inclusive. So we need to go and get some things to take to the beach with us. And then the, this hotel actually offers a free shuttle bus to and from the beach, which is only about 10 minutes on the bus or something like that. Me and Chris used to cycle it with Isabel and Esme on the back of our bikes back in the day. But obviously we're here with my dad and he said just to check the distance and things, just to make sure he thinks he can do it. Um, we're going to go on the bus today, but we are going to get some bikes. Also, today's supposed to be super duper hot. We're supposed to be having a heat wave. Um, um, have you got on my glasses? No. Have you got on my I sunglasses? Bought them, bought them. Have you got on my sunglasses? <laughs> anyway, guys, we're about to head off down to the little shop here, get some snacks, and then we will be on the bus on our way. I got a dance for my for who? But, but an iPhone. Ah, for an iPhone. Dancing club, dancing club, dancing, dancing club. <laughs> dancing crab. Are you looking forward to the beach today, Isla? Yep, and crabby. And crabby. Hmm. It's a very cute rubber ring, isn't it? Yeah. Going to go over the waves in him. Pinch, 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 pinch. <laughs> you looking forward to the beach, Esme? Yeah. Yeah, you got your boat? Yeah, I really want to do it. Put Isla on it and then carry all the way to the beach. Let's show our iPhone your two dresses. Liz has got chocolate on hers, standard. Okay, Someone okay. thought it was appropriate to have a chocolate donut for breakfast. With extra chocolate, Nutella. You nutters. Right then, so these dresses are very cute. And they're it's from not clean. <laughs> <laughs> And they're from Asda. Got a very nice thrill on the bottom, don't they? Yeah. Yes. Look at my shoes. Yeah, shoes are very cute. Isla's are from next. You can see my feet. And Isabel. Uh, Isabel? You can see my feet. Esme's are from Asda. You can, you can see my feet. You can see your feet sweet hats because they're sandals. Esme's have got beautiful, beautiful, what are they called? Flamingos. Weasel. Isabel hurt her finger this morning on the toaster. Her dress is from Matalan and it looks very cute. She's got my sunglasses, which are Primark. And then this underneath, I think that belongs up there, sweet hat. Which is your bikini. We'll see that at the beach. Check out my dad's new Pedro hat. <laughs> is it cooler? A lot cooler. Yeah. My dad had a cap, but it makes making his head sweat. So now he's got a Pedro hat. We just caught. Oh, where's it zoomed right in? That's it. So we just called at the shop, got some snacks, some bottles of water, a few crisps, some little bits and bats. The girls are just in there now paying for buckets of spades, rubber rings, and then we're going to have a, oh, they're here now. <laughs> and then we're going to have a wander down to the beach. It's so hot today. We got told yesterday that there was a heat wave over the next three days, and it's definite. That wind that was there yesterday, keeping everything nice and, nice and, cool <laughs> has gone <laughs> we were so wild and free 
Are you making sandcastles, Boo Boo? Yes, that's how I spent so I went out to make like a pointy one. Okay. The only thing is the sand's so hot and so fine that it's not staying as a castle, is it, babe? Right now, on this beach is one of the reasons why I absolutely live for travelling. Look at how beautiful this place is. It's like ridiculously beautiful. In fact, I thought the, my best beach ever was when we went to Cuba and we stayed in Cuba for just over two weeks a few years back. I thought that was the best beach ever. This is hands down way nicer than that beach in Cuba, like way nicer. Look at the mountains in the backdrop. Boom! Oh, it's ridiculously beautiful here. That is what I'm talking about. We actually decided, after being told yesterday there was a heat wave coming today, we decided to come to the beach today because we thought sitting around the pool with no breeze is going to be unbearable because it was hot enough yesterday with a monstrous breeze. But there is absolutely zero sea breeze right now. None. It is the most still, calm day ever and it's so hot. So guaranteed, I am going to be spending most of my day in that water. Okay, Isla, we're gonna go sand sliding. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> wow! Did you do a rolling? <laughs> oh my God. Did you do a rolling? What happened? <laughs> I know what happened. Look at me. What happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. Dad, right, she, she stayed in the boat and then the whole boat was tipped upside down, but she stayed in the boat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. One. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Next time I go, go down there really fast and then turn. So you want to do a roller yeah. party as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to flip upside down? <laughs> Get the panel. You're crazy, man. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Man. <laughs> 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 Is that funny?
anywhere except on my part in here and it feels so sore. I think I must have I think I burnt my bonds, Dad. I think I've burnt my bonds. Turn it into a <laughs> Turn it into a tomato like you. <laughs> my dad literally sat in the shade all day today because a bit too much sun yesterday, didn't you, old man? <laughs> Anyway, we're just heading back to the hotel now. I think we're going to go and have a little chill out in the pool for half an hour. Oh, speed bump. And then go back to the room and get showered. I literally can't wait to get in the shower. The showers in this hotel literally blast you. They're so powerful, they blast you really hard. My dad said, have you tried the shower yet? I stepped in and it blasted me straight back out. <laughs> but it's worked out how to turn the uh, speed down a little bit. Can't wait to get in the shower. You know when you go to the beach and you're all sticky from sun cream and sand all over you? That's how I feel right now. But the girls are desperate for the pool because unfortunately, here today at the beach, the wind or the current was too strong to be able to properly go out and swim like we usually do. So it was just a case of paddling. Isabel, did you? I don't think you went in at all, did you? I did my feet in a little bit. Just dipped your feet, yeah. So it's just paddling today. The girls really want to have half an hour in the pool before we go back to the room and get showered and ready for dinner tonight. Faith! Esme, <laughs> you are legit a sand monster. What's that? Look at your face. <laughs> Cheeky chop. Look at your face too. A sand Look at that. monster. I love feel your face. Feel it. Oh my goodness. Why? Isabel, come here. Yeah? Look, Look at Isabel's <laughs> shoulders. You sand monster. <laughs> <laughs> well. Let's go. I think we all need to go and shower off, shower down, and then go in the pool. No. Okay. Other way around. Right away. <laughs> Can't be the pool full of sand. Oh yeah. Can you shower your, no, not at the house. Shower's near the pool. Oh, okay. You have to go shower your sand off and then we can go jump in the pool. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go! Wait, and it'll be a dude. This is so funny. Right. You're so a dude, Esme. Yeah, you're just a dude. You're a dude. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my hat like that. I made a massive <laughs> face. In the toilet. In the toilet, I made a massive sand mount. There you go. I tell you what we really need, we need like everyone to put yeah. together edits for Instagram and stuff of Esme's, Esme's faces. faces. Yeah. It's going to be a full idea of Mom, your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to give you some? <laughs> Watch Isla. She's been doing this for the last half an hour, just pouring water on this poor girl's head. She's loving it and the girl's loving it too, but still. Waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you getting that waterfall? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Choo, choo, getting that water. You get back in that water. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Daddy, you get back in that water. Oh, God, <laughs> Are you having a good time, Boo? Oh, yeah. But how you find me in the water? I nearly sink. I stick on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Isla's been tipping water on this lovely girl's head for the last half an hour. They've been having lots of fun, haven't you? But now it's time to get Isla's head. <laughs> You better swim. You better swim. Isla, Isla, what's wrong? <laughs> I cheated. I pretended to cough. You pretended to cough? Chew, chew, get back in that water. Chew, chew, get back in that water. <laughs> <laughs> Esme! Yeah. Go on, Esme! Yeah. 
<laughs> that was amazing. Really good. Well done. You are definitely a mermaid. Where's her tail? Has she still got legs? In that water. <laughs> Tyler, are you going to jump in like such a big girl? One, two, three! Woo! Yay! Come on, big girl! <laughs> Have you just found your confidence? Have you just found your confidence? And now you're happy to jump in. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Clever girl! <laughs> Guys, Isla never jumps in the water like that. She never does it. It's something that's always been a fear of hers, going under the water. You are so good! And she's just decided she loves it. <laughs> Oh, she didn't hold her nose that time. Are you okay? You are right. Yeah. Mom is needed to come when I went under. Okay. Izzy said we should all jump in together. Yes! Isla can finally have fun with her sisters. <laughs> She's like, whoa, hang on. You can! Two, three! Yay! So guys, we have just come back to the hotel room. We have had showers, as you can probably see. My hair's back. We've just had showers and we're all ready. Well, I'm ready. We're all ready. Mum's just drying her hair. I don't know if you can hair dryer. And I was picking out this outfit that I'm wearing. It's very nice. And I was picking it out and I legit just pulled a door off. I was literally just sat there pulling my clothes out, getting my clothes, and I pulled a door off. Like, I literally just pulled that off. Literally just pulled it off. But anyway, guys, I legit just pulled a door off. I don't, I, I don't even know how I did it, to be honest with you. So we just came back to the room, had showers and made ourselves much more fresher for going out for dinner. <laughs> I've got a posse for going out for dinner tonight. We're a posse. It's like a group of girls that like each other. For going out tonight, anyway, we've all just had showers and we're feeling way more refreshed than what I was doing when we left the beach this afternoon. But I just want to say, my eye, I should have sorted this out before I came away. I don't know why I didn't, but I just gathered it was some sort of reaction from a moisturizer I'd been using, but I have like a patch of dry skin right under my eye here. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but yeah, you can. It's just there. And basically, makeup, I should probably stop wearing makeup, even though I've not worn makeup for the last few days, maybe a bit of mascara. But I probably need to like avoid makeup completely because makeup keeps getting on it. And then when I rub it, it irritates it and it makes it even worse. Anyway, we just got out of the shower us girls. Chris is just in there now. And we just read some comments from tonight's vlog, which were amazing. You guys literally are the best. And we know that we can just read your comments and feel amazing. Anyway. We're just all about to be ready. I think we're just waiting for my dad who's finishing moisturising up. He's just got out of the shower. And then we're going to head and get some din dins because actually we missed lunch today. So we've not eaten since breakfast this morning, which is actually not such a big deal really in the ideal world. But when you go all inclusive, I don't know about you guys, but just because there's breakfast, lunch and dinner, you tend to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner or breakfast, what's the other one? Breakfast, dinner and tea. Is that right? Breakfast, dinner and tea, or breakfast, lunch and dinner, whichever you call it. You tend to just eat it. So the fact that we've not had anything for lunch today yeah. makes me starving right now. Are you hungry, Izzy? I'm starving. Are you? Isabel's absolutely starving. She wants a munch. Guys, we just got back to our room after dinner. It's quite early or late. I'm not sure what you'd call it. It's around 10 half nine ten p.m tomorrow guys we're going to a water park so i am so excited we love water parks so much they're so much fun we always have a great day so i'm really looking forward to tomorrow today whew, we're literally worn 
out. I am going to remove my makeup right now. Whoa, that's not flattering. I'm going to remove my makeup and I think we're all going to get an early-ish night. Obviously, Paul Chris has still got to edit. I'll probably sit up with him a bit too because it's not too late. So we're going to do that. The girls are all about to tuck down into bed. But yeah, it's been such a lovely day today. I've absolutely loved it. It's such a shame that at the beach it was quite wavy. The, the current was quite high. So I wasn't prob properly able to show my dad the sea and the and the fish and things in the sea. We've got snorkeling kits and we weren't able to do that today. But we do have a three island boat trip and Lanzarote trip and just a few trips booked where I'm properly going to be. I think the three island one, you go to three different islands and you can snorkel and it's amazing. So I do still have plenty of opportunities throughout this holiday to show him more of that side of the island that I really, really want to show him. Today's question of the day, Sarah, how have you, I apologize if I don't get this right word for word, but it was along the lines of, have you been on so many holidays? Have you visited so many countries, Spain, etc., and just traveled so much when you were younger, if your dad has never been on an airplane before? And I don't know if you've watched, but I did a vlog on iFam Extras on my Sundays with Sarah. I think, forgive me if I'm wrong, I think it was not last week, but the week before, and it was titled, my my crazy childhood revealed or something like that something about my crazy childhood and on there i explained exactly why um why i've been on so many holidays without my dad and that is because my grandparents actually took me around the world when i was younger i went on so many holidays with my grandparents and the main reason for that is that my dad was terrified of flying. So that's the only reason my dad's not flown. And he actually opened up to me tonight, and this is the first time he said it, and said to me, he's mentioned my mum quite a few times on this holiday, which literally just breaks my heart. But he has said to me a few times, if he hadn't have made my mum that promise before she passed away, which was a promise, I will see another country, then he wouldn't have got on that aeroplane. He wouldn't have gone. Is he is terrified of flying, literally terrified. And so basically, that's why my dad was scared of flying. He's never. I said to him, I thought it was just because you weren't interested in traveling abroad. And he said, Yeah, I weren't because I was scared of flying. So that's the answer to that question. I traveled with my mum or my grandparents because my dad never went because he was too scared to get on an aeroplane and the reason that he did two days ago with me was because before my mum passed away he'd made her a promise just the same as what I did. I promised I would get my dad in another country whilst he was 50 and he promised her that he would do it for her. He would get on an aeroplane and he would travel. I hope that answers your question. Thank you guys so much for watching these vlogs. We are always overwhelmed with the amount of love and support we get on these daily vlogs and when we come on a holiday it's so lovely meeting so much so many of you guys and we've met loads of our iFam on this holiday already it's been incredible so thank you guys so much and all you watchers are just as important we love all of your comments all of your thumbs up make us smile every single day so thank you all we'll see you all again tomorrow for a very exciting water park we love water parks we can't wait to share the day with you guys. We'll see you all back here at 6 p.m. Good night. That was a nose. Mm -hmm.